Okay, back at you with Fit America, and we were discussing about nutrition and all these things, you know, vitamin C and hormones and um, how vitamin C can reduce your cortisol and uh, thereby reduce the impact on your estrogen and um, good antioxidant and good protective all around. We were talking about this kind of packaging for the um, uh, leave no trace so that you don't have to use your pot and dirty your pot and you can just fill it up to this line here and tear it on, on the diet line. At first it looks like um, this is very lightweight and compact but um, because of the paper and um, it's a pretty amazing product but I also found this instant oatmeal that's got ancient grains and um, kiona and amaranth and it's a uh, maple multigrain muffin and for one of these packets it's 200 calories and I was talking to you about calorie density and you see this part here where it says calories and then it says 200 and then this says five, 50 grams you're supposed to convert that to ounces and divide the grams into the 200 calories. I mean the ounces into the 200 calories. When you do that, you come out with, um, for the blueberry, it was 48 grams. And the calories are only 160 because it's a little less weight. But when you, when you map, when you, when you multiply, when you, when you calculate it <coughs> all out, it's 105 calories per ounce, which is just barely over 100, which is packable. It is doable, but you have to consider about some of the more density kind of products um, if you want to save space. So um, I considered multigrain 50 grams per serving 200 calories equals 113 per ounce grams 113 calories per ounce so I I weighed the actual packages and I was really really surprised that the plastic is actually a little bit heavier at 1.84 ounces and the uh, blueberry morning was 1.64 ounces. It's such a big, bigger, taller package. Um, I just was really surprised, but anyway, um, so there you have it. There's, there's this, that is lighter, but it's also just a little bit less in grams per serving and a little bit less in calories by 40 calories. And this is um, 105 versus 113. 113 sort of approaches the three or three to four star uh, density. 125 is excellent. That approaches trail mix, though. <laughs> so, you know, you want oatmeal or you want. You want whole grains in the form of oatmeal or you want trail mix. So um, this is, um, you can get a lot of calories through trail mix, but this is a breakfast food. And it's, if you have two of them, you can get 400 calories. And, um, and so um, I think I'm going to take a mix of them both. Uh, so I don't get bored in the night and the plus with this is is it has some real blueberries in it So I'm getting some fruit I'm not entirely sure how much is still left in in uh, the Blueberries after they go through processing, but at least they say it's real blueberries and they're wild blueberries and um, it does have uh, flax seed and um so this does have flaxseed also, and that's good for omega-3s. Um, 
Okay, so that's a little bit on how to do calorie um, density um, and evaluating what you should take out on the Appalachian Trail. So um, just wanted to point that out a little bit further because I had talked to you about the blueberry stuff and I had found out that this uh, amazingly is just a little bit more calorie oomph and therefore calories per ounce but I I will um, probably pay for it just a little bit in uh, weight. It doesn't look like much but um, we'll see. So anyway I wanted to point that out to you. Have a good day and I will be back at you later. This is Fit America talking at you about calorie density. Have a good day. Bye.